Hello, yarn at these. How are you today? My voice is almost to normal. <laughs> almost. Now, if I could just get rid of this stupid cough, I'll be fine. Uh, I'm running late today, you guys. It's 11 o'clock my time. Um, I, oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I took some cold, cold medicine last night to get some sleep. And I'm still drowsy. Um, and I woke up way later than I expected to. So, a little bit late today. But, um, hello? Oh, you want to come say hi? Bailey had a bath last night. Come here. We have a story to tell, don't we? Oh, oh come here. <laughs> we have a story to tell, don't we? Yeah. Bailey and I went to the dog park yesterday. Yeah, and don't try and act cute now because you're you're in a you're in trouble. <laughs> um, I took her for a walk. I I needed to get some fresh air, get some you know fresh air in my lungs. And Miss Bailey, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, Miss Bailey decided to get into a fight with two dogs. She was not very social. Were you? No, you weren't. I was not, imp excuse me, not impressed. She has been in the house for far too long. Um, for all of November anyway, at least. Um, because I've been, I haven't been going out. Uh, I have been sitting at home and try getting ready for the craft fairs. And <clears throat> um, so all of October... Uh, I worked a little bit and then I was at home. So she hasn't been out and I feel so bad about that. But, um, and then I got sick and I couldn't, and it snowed and I didn't want to take her out in the snow and I, I was sick anyway. But, uh, so I decided to try to take her out yesterday. Uh, good thing I had her on a leash and a, and a harness. Bailey's not a fighter. She does, she's afraid of her own shadow. Um, <clears throat> but she also, she loves people. She loves people, hates other dogs. And I don't know why. Because when I got her, she was two years old. She had been abused. Um, she, yeah, it's a hard story. I'll tell it to you another day. <clears throat> but anyway, so I'm really surprised that she actually likes people. So I'm, my thought is maybe that they had bigger dogs or something and she got beat up a lot. Um, but yeah, so I was pretty upset yesterday. Um, and I came home, gave her a bath and we moped. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, that was, that sucked. But what are you going to do? She didn't bite another dog. She didn't, like, she just growled and snarled and did the scuffle thing. But, yeah. So, anyway. <clears throat> okay, I got a card in the mail yesterday from Angela. <laughs> so, Angela got new cards this year. I love them. Aren't they adorable? Just like this one. Um, but she sent me... A stitch marker. Oops. And it is Jingle Bells. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Little Jingle Bells. So thank you, Angela. <clears throat> now, if you go to Angela's channel and you become one of her members, um, I can't remember which tier it is. But you get a stitch marker a month. So she sends out all her stitch markers to all her members. And uh, this is not one of them. I'm on the lower tier. Um, I screwed up when I went to get my membership. She had the two tiers. And uh, I didn't know which was which or whatever. So I just hit the one tier. So this was a gift. <laughs> <clears throat> So, okay, here we go. Ta-da! 
I'm on day 13. Yeah, 13. Oh, it's right up at the top. No, nope, that's not it. No. Nope. Okay, put your glasses on, Sandy. It is right here. Uh, okay, come on. Get in there. And it's a blue ball. It is Smarties. <clears throat> and the country is Germany. So, okay, you're patiently waiting here. You're going to eat this this time? Oops, here's Bailey's. Oop, stay. Okay, Bailey's is number 13. Is right here. A big bold letters that I didn't see. <laughs> Urgh. Come on. Up. Oh, what's this? Oh, nope, that goes in that pocket. Uh oh, these ones you like. These ones are the beef tender bites. She likes these ones. I hope. Want some of these? Want these ones? What the heck is wrong with you? Okay, fine. Huh. She's really finicky lately. I don't know what's going on with her. <clears throat> huh. Maybe she's upset about yesterday, too. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, I, that's all you're getting. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> like I said, I just woke up. <clears throat> so, yeah. Still trying to <clears throat> expel. Okay. Let's see. We're on the left side of the tree, I think. So, we'll reach over here and we'll pick this. Okay, now, I have to say something. I And I'm saying this to Angela, too. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I didn't put a whole lot of yarn in her giveaway or in her um, exchange. I, I did gifts this mostly this year because she's going to be moving. She's got all that yarn that she has to move. And, <clears throat> you know, I figured she gets to go to Hobby Lobby whenever she wants to. She gets to go to... Um, uh, Sten Stenley, um, and to Aberdeen, is it? No, um, the other one, uh, the other one in Canada. <clears throat> so I figured what is, what could, what kind of yarn could I possibly give her that is going to be different from what she gets herself because she gets, she makes shipments to ice yarns and all that and Hirschner's and everything. And I thought, you know, I, I just don't even know if there's any kind of yarn that I could give her that would make a difference. So the yarn, yarns that I did send her, I was kind of hoping that, you know, like I just, I she just opened one where it was wool, right? Because I can't use wool. <clears throat> Believe me, I had to like, when I was packaging it, <laughs> but I found that and I thought, well, you know, she seemed to really like this yarn, so I sent her that, right? But now I feel really bad because she sent me a whole bunch of yarn. You know, it's like, oh, man, I just, I feel horrible now. But anyway, okay, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> it's like I, I'm sitting there watching her open her gifts, and I'm thinking, what kind of a yarny person am I that I'm not sending her a bunch of yarn? But, I don't know. Live and learn, I guess. Okay, you guys will see first. Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I love this. I've had this before, and I love this yarn. I love tweed yarn. Um, 
<clears throat> so this one is I Love This Yarn Tweed. And the color is Ivy Tweed. Ivy Tweed. Oh, I'll turn my light down a little bit here. Oop, come on. Oh, no, it's not going to work. Okay, fine. Be that way. <clears throat> so it's Ivy Tweed. It's got brown and black tweed in it. Oh, I just love this. I really like taking tweeds and um, pairing them with the solid. So, like if you've ever noticed in my, in my sweaters, I'll do like stripes of solid, stripes of of tweed or um, uh, variegated. You know, so. It just, it makes the, the second color pop really well. So if you paired this with like a chocolate brown, oh, oh, maybe I should do that. Oh, man. This would be enough for a cardigan too. Hmm. Now I'm thinking. Yeah. So if I do it with a chocolate, deep chocolate brown, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yes. Thank you so much, Angela. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> you know what I'm thinking I'm going to do? Once she moves to Nova Scotia, I got to send her a box of yarn. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I mean, she knows I love Hobby Lobby. I, I love Hobby Lobby yarn. I can't get it. She's lucky enough to be able to travel down there. She's not going to be able to do it now, I don't think, once she moves. She's coming home today, guys. Um, I am I haven't heard from her, so she must be having a good time. Um, I'm hoping that they found a home, a, like a house out there. Uh, I hope everything's okay. So, yeah, I'm excited to hear about her trip. It's going to be cool. All right, <clears throat> so yesterday's question, um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to pick the winner because there was two answers that people were writing down and <clears throat> then the, the other answer that everybody was writing down was kind of like a blanket kind of thing. Here, I'll explain. In the UK, what do well-behaved kids get in their stockings? Okay. The answer is tangerines. Now, a lot of people put oranges, which tangerines are technically oranges. And then another lot of people put fruit. So, <clears throat> I'm going to see if the random comment picker will take two words instead of just one. And I'll put in orange and tangerine. But I'm leaning towards just using the word orange. Um, but, like, I don't know. I'll, I'll see how I can figure it out. And um, what I may end up doing is just keep keep picking a winner until I see the word tangerine or orange or fruit. So, <clears throat> but anyways, here's the, the winner for that. Um, and the next question is, <laughs> which country does eggnog, a Christmas drink, originate from? I love eggnog eggnog anything uh, I just and I was so angry when Starbucks stopped making their eggnog lattes oh I was so mad so now I, I haven't got a good place to go to get um an eggnog latte so that's a real bummer I tried to make my own one time no <laughs> didn't work <laughs> so <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> okay I'm gonna start coughing so I'm going to go leave your comments down below with your answers. And um, yeah, I guess I will talk to you tomorrow. Welcome back, Angela. Okay.
I'll talk to you later. Love you all. Bye.